So if you have a Ford vehicle and you get a service advanced track message on your dashboard, I thought I'd go over the cause of this and how you go about fixing it. And so first of all, what is this advanced track system? Well, advanced track is just a system created by Ford to help assist the driver in less than ideal road conditions. And this system uses different sensors and different inputs from wheel speed sensors and things like this and can help the driver when the road conditions aren't that good like it's raining or something like that it can adjust the engine speed and the brakes and stuff like this so basically it's just a system from ford to help assist the driver when the road conditions aren't that great and when you get this advanced track message you're very likely going to get multiple other messages and lights on your dashboard the traction control lights the stability control lights abs lights quite often there's also a collision warning malfunction message that comes on the dashboard so very likely you're going to get multiple lights and multiple messages and so when this happens the first thing to do if possible is to scan the onboard computer and see what the error codes are. If you could scan the computer with an OBD2 scan tool, it'll point you to what the problem is and what the issue is. There's a lot of good low cost OBD2 scan tools. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also go to like automotive stores like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or things like this. And quite often they'll come out and scan your vehicle for free. But the first thing to do, if possible, is to scan the onboard computer for any error codes. And so what are some possible causes of this service advanced track message? Well, first thing, go and check your battery. Be sure that your terminals all look like they're good. There's no corrosion. There's no loose connections or anything like this you could even check the battery and be sure that it's charged good that there's no issues going on with it it is common in many fours that if there is a battery issue or some kind of charging issue that you also get some kind of low battery message or something like that on your dashboard so if you are getting that definitely go check out your battery and be sure that it's good the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of engine problem and basically there might not be no problem inside the advanced track system but there's some type of engine problem and when there is an issue with the engine the computer is going to automatically shut down this advanced track system and once the problem with the engine's fixed, it'll turn the system back on. And quite often when there is a problem with the engine, the vehicle will go into limp mode, which for Ford is usually displayed with a little symbol of a wrench. Although there can't be an engine problem and it doesn't go into limp mode, but it is common that it does. If you scan the vehicle's computer, it'll point you to any problem the engine might be having. For example, if you scan for error codes and you got a P0304 code, that would point to a cylinder four misfire, which could be something like a bad spark plug, bad spark plug wire, bad fuel injector on cylinder number four. And basically inside of this example, once this problem is fixed, the lights would go away. The next thing that could cause this problem is gonna be a bad wheel speed sensor or the tone rings. And again, if this is the issue, you're gonna get a code. For example, you get something like a C1233 code, left front wheel speed sensor input signal missing. And so basically in this example, you have to go test that left front wheel speed sensor. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad wheel speed sensor. Another thing that could cause this is a bad clock spring or steering angle sensor. And these are located up inside the steering wheel. There'll be a clock spring and a steering angle sensor. When these go bad, you won't be able to engage like the cruise control if you turn on your blinker and you turn after you turn the steering wheel straight the blinker won't automatically shut off those are common symptoms of a bad clock spring and of course, you're gonna get codes that would point you to that problem. For example, C0051, which would be steering wheel position sensor. So that would have to go be tested to see what the problem is. The next thing that could cause this problem that sometimes is overlooked is that if there's different size tires on the vehicle, if they're mismatched or something like that, you got some type of spare on there or something, this can set off codes and turn on that advanced track message. So if you do have mismatched tires or wheels or something like that, that's something to keep in mind and go check out. The last thing on this list is going to be the ABS pump or the ABS control module. This will be up inside the engine compartment. The ABS pump itself will have a bunch of lines going to it, and then you have a control module bolted onto it. And if there's an issue with one of these, then it can send off that service advance track message. But again, if this is the issue, you're going to get a code. For example, U0121, lost communication with anti-lock brake system, ABS control module. If you got this code, you'd know there's some kind of problem going on with that ABS control module. So you'd have to go check that and test it and be sure that it's good. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the causes and fixes for a Ford with the service advance track message on the dashboard. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.